Hello there. Have you ever been in a restaurant and you can't read your menu unless you do this? That's what we're going to talk about on today's Lit Explanation. So for everybody watching this video, you either have been the person or you've seen the person who can't read their menu unless they take out their iPhone or Android flashlight and shine it on the menu in order to see what the actual appetizers are in that particular Chili's or just any restaurant. And there's a reason for that. It seems odd that if you can read something with light that you can't just read it with a dimmer amount of light if it's the same font size. But the truth has to do with the lens that's inside your eye. So, like we do sometimes, I'm going to draw an eye to show you where the problem lies. So this is the eye. If you looked at it from the side, like this right here, I'm going to label a couple of these so that we have our orientation. All right, so the cornea, it's the front dome on the eye, and honestly, uh, it's not to blame here. The cornea that you've got when you're 56 years old, it's a lot like the cornea that you have when you're 16 years old. It's generally the same shape, it's generally the same clarity, not much changes over time. If you were to take somebody's eye and do a really advanced scan of their cornea and then look at it 30 years later, you'd see it looks almost the exact same, which is part of why LASIK actually works. Um, the iris, also not the fault of the iris, however, it does help. That's a teaser for the end. What it comes down to is this lens, the natural lens that's inside your eye. So. From the time that you're eight years old, when your lens is the clearest and most flexible that it will ever be in your entire life, until you are 108 years old, when your lens is very, very hard and brown, it has the, the color and, and clarity of a Tootsie Roll. Between those two ages, your lens is laying down these new layers every year. But the thing is, it gets a little bit more dense before it gets a little bit more cloudy. So first it gets dense and then it gets cloudy. And what's happening is when you're in a restaurant and you have clear vision during the day, you, you had clear vision on the drive there, you even have pretty decent vision on the drive home, but when you're in the actual restaurant looking at a menu, you'll find that just the readers that normally would work if you were outside and it was sunny and you were trying to read the newspaper or if you were in the restaurant and it was daytime, they don't work. And it's because you've caught yourself in this stage and sometimes it's five years and sometimes it's 25 years but where it's more dense than it is cloudy. If your lens gets cloudy enough, then light that's coming in and hitting that cloud will scatter everywhere, and that's what causes glare and halos and makes night driving difficult. It's a sign of cataracts. But when your lens has just gotten more and more dense, what it means is more of the light coming into your eye is getting filtered out of the picture before it can make it all the way back to your retina. Your retina is like the film in the camera, and the image has to make it there in order for you to see it. So when you're eight years old, if you're looking at a restaurant menu, or more likely a comic book in your room at night and the only light on is a bathroom light three doors down the hallway, you can still read your comic book because you have this incredibly clear lens and every little bit of light that's coming in makes it to your retina. You're like an owl. When you're 58 years old and you're sitting, you don't have a comic book, but you've got a menu in a restaurant because your interests change over time from Superman to food. When you're sitting in the restaurant looking at that, because you are losing light coming in because it's getting caught and only maybe 80%, 85% is making it through your lens, that's a significant percentage drop off on how much light comes into the back of your eye. And so what do you do? You amplify how much light you're shining off that menu and is shining into your eye so that even though that font size is the right size, you can now see it clearly because you have enough light making it in. If 100% of the light in normal restaurant lighting conditions won't work, well, what do you do? You make it 150% of the normal light in restaurant lighting conditions. And then 85% getting through doesn't matter. You've gone past the threshold of what you need in order to see it. Now, I said one thing about the iris. There's one other trick that happens when you put that bright light on there. The brighter the light you look at, the more your iris comes down. And so you get a little bit of a pinhole effect. And what a pinhole does is it knocks out all of the competing rays of light that would cause blur to that image. You only get the clearest ones right in the middle. In the middle? That's middle with D's, not T's. You get the clearest ones right in the middle. And so those clearest rays are coming in and shining onto the part of your retina that you use to see things clearly. So what you've done is you've amplified how much light so that you're getting enough light to your retina 
and you've also clarified the image by getting a little bit of a pinhole effect with your iris. I hope that helps explain why a flashlight is so helpful reading a menu in a restaurant.